Hi, this is Thomas Hawksworth, engineering intern at Saratech, and welcome to our Tips and Tricks tutorial series. Thank you for watching this video on the basics of thermal analysis in SimCenter with conduction and convection. If you have any uh, suggestions or specific requests for tutorials on topics you'd like us to create, please add them in the comments below, and please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. Additionally, if you have any questions about anything covered in this tutorial, please be sure to ask your question also in the comments. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please check out our other videos here on our YouTube channel. We also offer our online customer enablement series held on the first and third Thursday of each month. This is a free 30 minute live video tutorial series where our software experts will share tips, techniques, and knowledge that will help you sharpen your skills. To sign up for the series, please contact us at info at In this video, we're going to be going over the basics of thermal analysis in SimCenter. Uh, specifically, we'll be talking about conduction and convection um, using SimCenter. So in this case, I have an example of a simple copper wire running through some polyethylene uh, insulation, and we're going to simulate the conduction through the polyethylene and the convection to the environment. In order to do this, I went ahead and meshed uh, the I meshed the wire and the insulation. Um, this wire is copper, and the insulation is polyethylene. And then I set up just a simple thermal analysis solution here uh, in SimCenter. So uh, the first step is we need to simulate a heat load. So we're going to go ahead and take off the uh, mesh collectors here, and then we're also going to take off the insulation. So we're going to go to load type, thermal loads, and we want to generate a heat load. We're going to generate that on this outer surface of the wire, and we're going to say that because of the resistive, uh, the resistance in the wire, it's going to be 50 watts of power being generated by this wire. And there we go, we have our heat load. Next, we're going to tell SimCenter that we have conduction occurring between the wire and the insulation. SimCenter doesn't know by default that these two are in contact, and so we're going to tell it. In order to do that, we're going to go to simulation object type, thermal coupling, and the first thing we're going to select is we're going to go ahead and select the outside of the wire, and then we're going to go to the secondary region, and we're going to select the interior of the insulation. These are going to tell SimCenter that these two regions are in contact and to generate heat through the insulation. So you put those back on, and first from some simple hand calcs, we're going to say that the conductance is 0 0.89 watts per degree Celsius. And we'll click OK, and you can see we've now generated the conductance here. And finally, we want to tell SimCenter that we have natural convection occurring um, from the outside of the insulation to the ambient air. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to constraint type, and we're going to go to convection to environment. And we're going to go ahead and select the outside of this insulation here. And we're going to say that it is 12.5 watts per meter squared degree Celsius. Um, and so we can define it as a convection coefficient. So that would be our H sub K. Um, and that will dissipate this heat um, being generated in, in the insulation to the ambient environment. The next thing we need to define is what is the temperature of the ambient environment. Um, so we'll go ahead and specify here in this temperature. I want to say the ambient environment is at about 25 degrees Celsius around room temperature. And that should be good to go here um, for our convection. And you'll see it'll generate all those um, convective elements here. Um, and then we're good to go. So the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and run the simulation. So we'll go down here to simulation one, we'll right click it, we'll click solve. Um, and we'll go ahead and click OK. And it's going to write everything out. And the solution is starting, and so when it's finished, we'll come back and look at the results. OK, so our simulation finished running, and we have our results. So we'll double click on Thermal and Results here. And we'll right click on Thermal, New Post View, Contour Plot, and we can see the temperature gradient here in the wire. So we can see in the wire, that it started out uh, really hot here in the copper, which makes sense, about 285.52 degrees Celsius. And then in the insulation, it got up to about 230, uh, 235 degrees Celsius, and then the temperature decreases as we go out to the outer radius where this natural convection is happening. And this is most likely due um, to the low um, conductivity, thermal conductivity of polyethylene, and then also this natural convection happening where we're expelling heat out into the ambient air. Um, so with this basic wire insulation example, we are able to see how to set up a simulation using both conduction and convection in SimCenter. Thank you very much for watching. 
Please don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. Also, don't forget to check out our customer enablement series on the first and third Thursday of each month uh, if you'd like to get more helpful information. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.